what do you say to seduce this man? Just give me give me a pitch here. She'll just probably start dancing seductively in front of him, and then you know, after we kind of get in his uh, attention, probably uh, you know give him a come hither a look, and then knock him out. <laughs> yes. Okay, that works. He's drunk and old. It's easy. Well, I say, so now we're now we're cooking. Whoa. <laughs> Johnny Handsome strikes again. So he'll just sleep it off somewhere uh, <laughs> in the back of the room, I guess, or in a corner. Uh, you have one mask. Marisol can make a clone of that mask, and then two of you can go sneak and look for you two. Marisol okay. holds up the clone copy. Who's gonna go for it? Jim? Sure. Oh, wait. Is there anything around that Jim can make a mask out of? He could. It would look really junky, though, because it's, <laughs> you know, it's not quite, he's not quite the artisan for this craft he's more for war than he is for aesthetic so i would say just probably the two of you okay yeah so whoever so whatever two go. jim and simone you can make your way through the uh crowd jim give me a night roll and this will determine kind of you're in a court of nobles and as a knight you have a certain aesthetic and a manner and an etiquette about you so i want to i could just want to gauge like how knightly are you being because it'll change kind of how they perceive you and for three, you do, you do get like people kind of like nodding their head to you and like occasionally like even bowing, like half bowing. Oh. Yeah, very good. Jim will bow back. Stop it, young lad. And that suit. I need a suit like that. They don't uh. make them in your size. <laughs> ah, I suppose I've enjoyed those stuffed mushrooms a bit too much lately. He like gives his stomach a pat. They, they seem to accept that you're there and part of the ecosystem, Jim, weirdly. And uh, Simone, they kind of know, I guess, by now, just like you seduce that old man, you fit in. You're a you're a richer person, uh, or at least you're a moonborn, like kind of like up middle upper class. And you're wearing a fancy dress that is from the same tailor as uh, <laughs> Jim's suit, actually. So you guys match. Great. Um, so you want to find you two. Uh, you two, they would have had you set up somewhere off to the side of the stage. Main stage seems to be pre preserved for something else, but they give you a very nice setup. Not tucked away in the corner exactly, but uh, they've also put a plastic barrier in front of your DJ booth. Yeah, like like a screen. Or just like a plastic shower curtain. Kind of. In the meantime, uh, who's Nia? I believe Nia, Marisol, and um, Ruiz. And Louis, Ruiz are in the back. Uh, Ruiz looks really spooked by all this. Well, actually, it's hard to tell because he's wearing that robot head. So uh, he's just kind of quiet. His maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe his robot head comes with a spooked setting. Nersel siddles up to him. Sorry, I know this is kind of weird. Ruiz Lark says, uh, "Yeah, I don't know what kind of like." <laughs> I don't know what kind of stuff your friends into you, but it's kind of got like a weird sex cult vibe that I like. I'm not super into myself personally. Oh, okay, noted. Yeah, in case you were worried, I guess that I was like into the whole bunch of rich weirdos putting on masks and hanging out in a dark room with a bunch of strange mood music. And I don't. If they start taking off their clothes, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> well find out soon enough i think i mean you're not into that right no i just had to ask i don't know I mean, <laughs> who knows what those earth people do on valentine's day lewis actually turns around and he's like yeah i'm gonna get out oh wait uh he notices that the the staff there are starting to close up and lock the doors uh yeah it's not suspicious I guess the sets are about to start uh God, i hope his mom and dad aren't here yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is a somewhat familiar. Battle. Yeah, there's a, there is a somewhat familiar man and woman, build wise, kind of like dancing together. Does the woman move like she has like like she can float like y yes creepily? Oh no, they're here, guys! Woman like a Sith Lord, bomb! <laughs> oh no, I hope this doesn't get weird. I really need this not to get weird. So. You guys were looking for DJ Rabbit. You'd find him behind that yeah. plastic sheet with his like nice, his nice helmet, his nice suit. Let's get that token out. DJ Rabbit, how do you feel about these events and this? What's going on here? So far, he hasn't really understood why he needs the protective glass or whatever the plastic for whatever water 
thing or whatever <laughs> yeah, wet water. But yeah, whatever wet aspect is about to happen. But otherwise, you know, they're they've already paid, you know, a sizable deposit and everybody seems pretty chill with the music choices. So it seems kinda like it's on auto. Did we see the doors being locked? On our way to find you two. Um, it's likely you're too far into the um, room to have seen it. You can find him. You can talk to him if you want. I want to go over. Hey, you two? Oh. Oh, hey, Simone. Er, I mean, hey, what's up? Hey. Can I help you? Hey, and like he, he leans a little closer and he goes, you guys can, you guys got in? I didn't actually think that would, you guys would. Uh, she whispers, uh, yes, we got in. Uh, Lu- Ruiz Lark is with us. Did you notice how everyone outside is, like, wearing wolf masks? And she just goes, yeah, um, it's kind of been bothering me all night, but they haven't really done anything weird yet, and I haven't noticed any, like, stands or anything, so I'm really, really just hoping that it's a coincidence and not related at all to the wolf that's attempted to murder us for the past month. I I hope so, too. I mean, one of the reasons (laughs) I came down here is to and you did make sure you're not being corrupt or anything because this, this is real weird. Maybe, maybe it's yeah. just a rich cult thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that the worst case scenario for tonight is they start an orgy on the floor and I just don't pay attention. God. One of the um, wait staff actually walks up to you guys at the booth and says, uh, Excuse me, uh, Mr. Rabbit. What can I help you with? Uh, would you mind cutting the music and then on cue playing the uh, track selected by the MC? And like his hands will f- kind of like he'll do a couple of hand motions because it's all the, the suit is essentially how he runs everything. So he'll just be like, OK, nice. You're good to go. And then the music will slowly start to fade down. And the MC who invited you, the he signed it as Monsieur V in the in the correspondence would have supplied you with a track he would like to have played uh, upon the cue that he gives and he says you'll know when it is don't worry oh yeah I was about to ask did they rehearse this at all beforehand or no I fucking hate these people <laughs> I, you don't know how many events I've had to actually work where they're just like oh you'll know when to play the music no please <laughs> for the love of god tell me what like is it a certain phrase and they're like oh yeah yeah it's the end of his speech do yeah you have that, do you have a copy of that speech no no he's just gonna go off the cuff oh my it's god gonna be completely great i'm not gonna shoot myself i didn't mean to trigger your ptsd man i'm so sorry <laughs> it's just it's just so real of just like oh no the they won't give you any inclination other than standing there in silence for three seconds while you go oh okay yep that's it <laughs> My God, I can't believe how perfect that works out. Okay, well, uh, yeah, you cut you cut the music, uh, it fades out, and then wait. Other wait staff with the uh, gift boxes, um, kind of begin to walk through the crowd and begin to hand them out, and everybody starts to stand up and pay attention more. Okay. Everybody with a wolf mask gets a gift box. The wait staff, when they see you people in the back, give you a weird look. Like they just kind of shake their head and shrug. They're looking for the right people to give these gift boxes to. You're not on the list. So Mia, your parents get a box, one each. Me? Oh boy. Oh no. And once the gift boxes are all given out, um, the stage, the lights go down and there's a spotlight on the stage where there is a single well-dressed man, dark lights go down all the way. And then a single spotlight comes up showing a man in a different wolf mask. <clears throat> Is this thing on? Test one, two. Test, test. Hello. How are all of you doing tonight? The crowd talks amongst themselves. You do hear that from the back of the room. Yeah, the man in the the, the man in the wolf mask uh, at the, on the stage actually pauses and looks at the back of the room. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> So glad that everyone could make it today. It's been such a long journey for us all, hasn't it? So long. We've all put in so much work and effort into this whole thing, haven't we? All of you here today have invested money and time, have invested so much of your own life's blood into making sure that this moon is just as perfect as we need it to be. And now we have reached the final stages of attaining heaven. And uh, they all start to clap at the mention of the word heaven. 
Laplace rises. <laughs> yes, of course, I knew you would all be so excited for this. When Kosui Tensai started this little project, he had a vision, a wonderful vision for true paradise, free of the earth's tethers, its wants and needs, its hungers, its desperation. We would be here and live in a true harmonious garden, a new Eden, and all of you for so long have participated, have dreamt, have known that you would be the chosen few to reach paradise. Not just this hedonistic amusement park of Artemis or any of the cities within her great boundaries, but a true paradise where the flesh is nothing and the spirits are silver and pure. That is why I am so happy to announce that the efforts of myself and my companions have yielded just the right results for two of you. Open your gift boxes. The confused crowd begins to tear off the wrapping and open their gift boxes, and you see the gleam of metal as they pull out cleavers and butcher knives and machetes. Oh, no. These are what I'd like to call the great test. Only two of you will get into the heaven that Kosui Tensai promised. I'm sorry, but there's just not enough seats. Now, it wouldn't be fair to try and whittle it down by merit or which family is older than the other or richer or poor and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> We would be here all night and you would all love to make your cases like you were in a court of law. But I think it would be more fair to just give those two tickets to the survivors. <laughs> no! The wolf actually stops. I'm sorry. No! The spotlight falls on Nia. Oh my Nia God. stands very proudly in yeah. the spotlight. Are you booing me? I am. I thought this was a party. Oh, it is. Terrible party. Oh, we haven't even gotten to the best part. Now, now, Nia Nova. You see two of the people go, what? Who? <laughs> Where? <laughs> oh, God. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Oh, my. The Novas have brought their lovely daughter. <laughs> That's a shame. Isn't she your only child? Uh-oh. Uh well, I guess I know who you'll be fighting for. Nia Nova. Before we begin these proceedings, is there anything you would like to say to your mother and father who are about to fight to the death? No one's going to fight to the death. Do you hear that, folks? She wants to keep you out of heaven. Uh, oh, no. They all begin to turn towards you and your group with their fucking knives and cleavers. Fuck. How is this going to lead you to heaven? Hmm. I'll leave that for the two surviving people to figure out. He points to the DJ. Hit that track. Yo. Okay, yeah. Then I would like the beat to start coming out of Turn Down for What? And he just goes, yeah, unfortunately, uh, we had to pull that off the broadcast. Instead, we've got a little something else for the airwaves. And we're going to hit him then. Wow. With a six. You see that stand emerge and just completely meet your fucking rabbit with like a fist, a closed fist that just strikes out right from where he was looking. Like that's where it spawned. It does knock you off balance. Me and turn down for what will take like a, a fall. You are not a very good DJ. I think I might have to review our contract. And you, you two will start to get up and just go, yeah, murder's kind of non-negotiable, so I'll break that for you. <laughs> it's funny, I guess. You know, the plan originally was to have them all kill you. <laughs> and you two just kind of nods and he goes, yeah, this, this wolf cult shit has got to stop. I agree. I changed my mind. You can save them if you want, but, <laughs> well, I guess we all just have our different methods of taking care of a problem. I'll be, well... In the very next room, if you'd like to see me. He kind of gives like a polite little nod and wave to DJ Rabbit as he recedes behind the curtains. 